Susan, what do you do to make your panels more interesting for the audience? I would say that humor is probably my main one. Like even when I'm saying the rules, I try and say them in a light and humorous way. For instance, I almost always say, um, we'll have about 15 minutes for questions at the end. And you know, the third point is, uh, please keep all questions, all said questions in the form of questions. And that usually gets a laugh and it kind of lightens things up. In addition, I always try and do the leap from behind method for getting people to explore the space. Um, and so when we're talking to panelists, for instance, um, if they do give a laconic answer, if it's like a one word or something, uh, if you if you play dumb, it can be one of the most amusing ways to get people to explore the space, as long as it's obvious that you're in on the joke. And so, for instance, I did this one on characters once and on creating tension um, with characters. And so I was asking them, uh, the panelists, how do you get people invested in uh, in the story? And they, one guy said characters, and then everyone else was like, yep, characters. And so I said, like, what, have some? And, you know, by being able to play dumb there, but yet be in on it, like, you know, taking it super seriously, like, oh, I have characters, I'm good. Like, it actually made them, like, explore the space, they laughed, they said something funny, and it kind of brought life into it. Um, I'd say the main thing, that is probably the thing that is most uniquely me, is the using that kind of question. Because um, I think a lot of people don't do the play dumb and, and take things literally and explore the space that way technique. But I found it incredibly effective for getting audience participation as well. Mm -hmm.